Well, we have a lot of work to do. Um, we've got some, some young kids that uh, you know played pretty good yesterday for the first time out of the box, so that that was encouraging. Um, you know, it's a situation that uh, certainly isn't settled by any stretch of the imagination. We've got you know a couple more weeks here to, to iron some situations out. I think we're athletic enough to be good. Uh, we just have to figure out who the right kids are, and, and uh, they'll give us an opportunity to win. Well, you know, as I said, some of those freshmen, he's, he's one of them. Jarvis Bird is back there as another one. Uh, getting an opportunity at the corner spot. Donald Coleman, you know, came in here in the spring as a freshman and somewhat the safety spot. You know, Rashad made a nice break, break on the ball last night, intercepted a pass and took it all the way back. Now, if we played live all the way back, I don't know if he would have made it, but uh, he did what he had to do in that situation. So that's a positive. You know, that, that's what you look for. You look for guys that understand the fundamentals and the basic concepts of the defense to see if they can execute it in situations that are, are as, as close to game-like as you can get in a scrimmage. I think he has a lot of confidence. And, and I, you know, last year, we moved him after our first year here. He was a receiver, caught a touchdown pass, uh, I think, in East Carolina. And... Um, you know, we moved him to corner because we, we saw a deficit coming and we needed to get some athletes back there in the secondary. I think his play in the spring gave him a lot of confidence. He understands the defense. Uh, he's a guy who understands offense, too, and I think that, that helped itself a little bit yesterday. You know, right away, I think they came over on the sideline and Coach Archer said to the defense, you, well, you know what the offense is doing, and Coyle knew exactly what they were doing. You know what what their plan was, how we're throwing the ball, and then you know he made a nice break, uh, picked one off last night, and you know his his was a legitimate 33 yard or whatever return it was. So you know it's it's a matter of confidence. You get confidence by understanding what your you know as long as you have the skills to play the position, you get it by playing, executing, being in game, being in those situations, and having success. And he's starting to have some success. I think he's a lot more comfortable inside. You know, that's where he played in high school. I think he feels comfortable in there. Um, you know, he's like starting from, from square one again. So, you know, he, he's got some things and he's got to do not only assignment-wise but fundamental-wise in there. But, you know, you, you look at ability, he does some things natural in there that I think are very positive for us. So it's a question of him just continuing to work hard and, stay in there and push and as many reps as we can give him in there, um, he, he'll get better. It's important and he works hard. I told him to go to the hardware store. There was a sale on before spring practice. And he came back and he really caught the ball well. So he told me that he bought a new pair of hands and they're working out. <laughs> I think that's the best thing to do. Um, other than that, a lot of repetitions. He spent a lot of time catching a lot of balls through spring practice and in the summer off the uh, jugs machine, machine that we have. You know, they can go out and hook up the jugs and fire balls at them and, you know, caught multiple balls in the offseason. So it's just a question. And then it's, again, it's a matter of confidence. You know, it's his first time really to play last year. You know, last year a lot of those kids, he and Jarvis William, were untested, unproven, hadn't played in games. And, you know, they both grew as the season went on, so they should be better this year. I think that's the most valuable piece of any college football team is a quarterback. And, and certainly, the more you have a quarterback that has experience, that, that has played, uh, the better off your starting point is for the next year. Now, certainly, nobody can rest on their laurels by any stretch of the imagination. You know, and our quarterback has basically proven himself in four and a half games at the end of the year. So he really doesn't have a great track record. So he's, he's got a lot of work still to do, but certainly, if he can build upon last year and get better than he was, it's you know we're in a much better starting spot at quarterback today than we were last year at this time. Well, he got the spot because he played well last year, and uh, you know he earned he earned a scholarship which we gave to him. Uh, certainly, he spent a lot of time in the off season. He's put on weight, put on strength, put on power. You know that he needs to. 
I think he felt last year that certainly he needed to do that to be able to withstand the rigors of college football. So I think he's much better prepared to do that this year. And then once again, he's, he's some of those one of those young kids that we had to play last year who, you know, we're seeing some benefit of it now in this camp because they've been in games. Uh, they understand what they're supposed to do. So it's not a question of assignment football. It's, an, it's, it's a question of fundamentals and execution and doing the things we have to do to be successful. He's better off. He was better off last night than he was at any time during the spring. So, you know, that's a, a positive for us. I think that, you know, as I said, as much in the spring, getting through the spring, for him, confidence-wise, that, that he could do it. You know, I don't know if he was totally sure of himself in the spring. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think his starting point was much different than it was. You know, he ran last night with a little bit of power and a little bit of a burst that uh, we hadn't seen in the spring. So. You know, he's still not all the way back to where he was, but he's tracking in that direction, which is good news for our football team. Well, a lot of those red shirt kids are, you know, backing up. Um, and I think they're learning by, you know, fire by baptism. You know, they're out there getting their heads beating a little bit. But that's okay, and that's about where you should be. And hopefully the guys that we have up front will be good enough to help them learn as they go along. It doesn't mean that they're going to be backups forever and they may end up be, be players here before the season's over and be counted on. But, you know, right now, you know, a lot of things are, are new and it's a hard position to play and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of work to, to be an offensive lineman. But, you know, we're in better shape there because we have all those red shirt freshmen and Crawford coming over from defense than we were in the past years, just from a depth-wise that, that there's talent there and uh, scholarship kids. I think Rashard Smith made a really good play and break on the ball. I think the others were jump balls. And, you know, as I said to the team last night, you know, one of the things a quarterback has to have, you know, if, if we're going to throw a deep ball, he's got to find out which one of the receivers is going to go up and get the ball. And, when you end up in jump ball situations, in, in two situations of C.J. Wilson and Nicole George, they outfought the offensive guy to get the football. So, you know, that's not good. You know, there's always a yin and a yang when you play yourself. And, you know, the good thing was the defense went up and made plays. The bad thing is the offense has got to go up and make those. They've got an equal chance to go up and make them. Probably one or two more recruiting years to get into the, the flow that you want and the replacement system for all the positions we have. Um, so it's something that we have to continue to work on and continue to try to do. Uh, but, you know, we're certainly better than we were in the past two years today. Well, certainly, you're not going to replace Nate Irvin. I mean, we, we don't have another player on our football team like him. Um, you know, he came out of spring practice, the number one rated defensive player in our defense. So, uh, you know, what you have to do is, is, you know, it's a good news, bad news thing. The bad news is we lost him. The good news is we lost him far enough down the way that, you know, we can make some adjustments and try to get the best, next best players on the field. So. You're not going to replace him out there right now, and, and we'll find out Thursday if you know he's going to make it back sometime this year, or if he's going to be for another year. He's uh, he's on the training team, so I don't see him. He's not, you know, with the new NCAA rule, he was reported and then replaced because he couldn't make it through preseason camp. So he's on his own program. He's not on our program.